Hey guys, welcome back. Hello friends and welcome back. I'm so glad you're here. If you've never seen me before, like I said, hello, my name is Sarah. I'm so glad you're here. Today's video is going to be my Valentine's Day gift guide. Um, what I got my kids for Valentine's Day, what's in their love buckets, and a little bit of extra bits and bobs that go along with that. I have been making this gift guide and many other ones, just like Easter, Christmas, birthdays, boo buckets, gift guides not only for kiddos, but also for other people that you love in your life, like your partners, your family members, teachers, friends. I've got gift guides just about for anything and everything, and I've been making them for many, many years. So if you need lots of different ideas, or if you just enjoy watching gift guides, then I'm your gal. I will link the playlist above for you guys to go look at the past years to get some ideas flowing. Um, and I also try to make sure I link everything that I can below, just to make it easier if you want to shop those links. Okay. This gift guide this year is fun because I'm sharing not only what I got my girls, but I also am sharing my little gift for my mom. Um, and I'm honestly, to be honest, I'm still hunting down what I'm getting my husband. It's a little, it's a little late, it's a little last minute, but I don't know. I'm, I'm having a harder time this year for that. But I'm also sharing with you guys the Valentines that my kiddos are giving their friends at school, but also we are having a little Valentine's Day tea party here. And they're inviting their best friends to come over and we celebrate love and enjoy all of the wonderfulness that is Valentine's Day. And we make friendship bracelets and have a yummy little tea party with yummy little treats and just enjoy our friendships and love those that we have in our life. So this is our first annual one, and I'm really excited for the girls to have their friends over and get all dolled up. As you can see, we have our little Valentine's Day tea party dresses already ready to go um, for the tea party, which is this week. I don't like getting this video up this late. I apologize that that has happened. I already pre-filmed this, and then the footage got deleted by my silly little self. So we are redoing it because it's important and I want to share it with you guys and I know a lot of you have really been looking forward to it as well. So we're going to dive right in and the first thing we're going to talk about is the valentines that my kiddos are giving. Um, there have been videos where I've shared with you guys that we have handmade our valentines. I've shared with you guys where like the particular valentines that they are given that we store bought. It's honestly, it depends on the year. This year we're, we went store bought um, and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Olive decided that she wanted to give these little scented erasers, these are donut animal valentines, uh, to her friends. These were from Walmart. They were $2.98 each. I bought two boxes to, um, you know, make sure we cover the whole entire class. And that's about it. This is her excitement. Um, this is the one that she wanted. We probably will include some little candy treat or a little snack or something to go along with it. We just haven't picked that one up yet, but this is what Olive is giving. And then Eleanor is giving these. <laughs> these are so cute. These are Sadie and Sam uh, googly eye valentines. These were from Target. These were so expensive <laughs> compared to those. Um, I don't really know why, probably because of the brand, but they're really, really cute and they have just a bunch of googly eyes. But I also did pick up the, a couple of packs, um, of these from Walmart. Again, these were $2.44. There's only eight in the box, but they're little cute avocado erasers and I just thought they were so um, and then it says, of a great day, Valentine. And I just thought that was adorable. So she's gonna give both um, to her class and they come with little baggies and everything. So it'll be easy to kind of put together. But those are their Valentines this year that they're giving away. Nothing too complicated. Sometimes we just like it easy because we're investing all of our other time and energy into our Valentine's Day tea party. So this tea party, like I said, is our first official tea party and I have been wanting to do this for a number of years now. I've actually been wanting to do it around Christmas time, um, kind of like a Polar Express kind of little tea party, but I don't think I would ever be sane enough to be able to handle <laughs> having a tea party during Christmas because that month is so incredibly chaotic. So what better time to have a 
tea party than Valentine's Day and have a Galentine's tea party. I think it's so cute and so fun and such a good tradition to keep doing year after year. And so the girls just invited their best friends and it's just gonna be a day to enjoy the pink and red and girliness and happiness that is Valentine's Day as well as celebrating and loving on your besties. So they are each inviting their best friends um, and we're just gonna have some snacks and party and dance and we're gonna make friendship bracelets and it's just gonna be a great little time. So I did pick up these little baskets, these little heart-shaped baskets from Walmart. They're only 97 cents. I have purchased these before. I use these for Valentine's Day for the girls to put their little gifts and stuff in them. I love them. They've lasted for years and years, but I decided to get a couple more for their friends um, because I'm gonna fill like a cute little treat basket up for them. So I got two uh, pinks and two reds and I do need an extra. Um, we had a added, added a little bestie to come with us, so I need to buy a couple more things, but I will share with you what I have so far. Anyway, like I said, 97 cents. I think these are perfect for um, kiddos if you have little ones in your life, or I also feel like they're really great for like teachers and preschool teachers. Um, there's a lot of different activities you could do using those. Um, to go in them, we have a bunch of packs of stickers. I feel like everyone and their mother loves some stickers. I love stickers. Kids love stickers. It's the thing. These are obviously the ones that are like meant to be able to stick on water bottles and folders and things that are just highly durable, washable, all that jazz. Um, I have just a bunch of different packs. They're mostly just cutesy little like graphics, um, just like fun little ones. I didn't get anything too character themed or anything like that, so they're just good for everyone. I did get a pack of Oxalotl sticker, sticker, stickers because I feel like Oxalotl, oh my goodness, Oxalotl oxalotls are the animal of the year um or at least for my kids and their friends and so i thought they will be fun to like kind of sprinkle in there but i got a bunch of different packs on amazon so normally where i get my stickers unless i buy specific ones on like etsy um but they're inexpensive and they're just great for kiddos um i feel like they're like the new way of like pokemon car trading it's like just to trade stickers i don't know my kids love love stickers and then I also found these at Walmart and I just thought they were so cute um, but I got a little each little girl but again I need to get another one a little like marker or pen set so these were all from Walmart all for $1.98 which was such a great price there's a really cute little octopus one and they're just a stack of different markers um, and then I got this ice cream cone one this one is a pen. Yeah, this one, no, I guess it's a marker still, but different marker sets. And then this really pretty kind of like translucent heart one, rainbow heart. And then this little bear one. I just thought these were so cute. I love novelty pens, but I feel like nobody loves novelty pens more than like tween girls. <laughs> so um, I just thought these were adorable and such a fun little thing to put in each of their baskets. Um, and then I found this pack of Tear and Share um, hair clips from Fashion Angels. These were also from um, Walmart. These were $2.98. But they're just really cute little checkered Valentine hair clips. Uh, well, they're on a Valentine Day card, but they're not like Valentine themed. But um, if you, you guys know, I love my checks and I just thought these were so cute. So I got a pack of these. And then also from that same section from Fashion Angels, these were all in the Valentine's Day like sections where they have like the big bins of different ones at Walmart that are like, you know, for classmates or for your friends or throwing parties, all that stuff. Um, but I found these tattoo pins. So they can just like draw on their little selves and they're like little skin safe tattoo markers and then they just remove with soap and water. I just thought that's fun. Um, I don't know how well they work or how much they show up, but you know, we'll see. I thought those were cute. So, like I said, I do need to get um, a set for the last little girl, but so far, so good. That's kind of the idea. I also picked up these little charms from Hobby Lobby. They're just little dice, but I just thought they were so cute. They were only $2.97, and they, there's a bunch of little dice here, um, and little 16, 16 little dice, die, zzz whatever you know what i'm saying anyway um and we are gonna make some friendship bracelets a la t swift and so i thought um i don't know we just you know angels roll their eyes devils roll the dice you know what i'm saying anyway i just thought they were cute <laughs> all right for the actual party decor 
Um, I picked up this little tablecloth, again, checkered. This was from Walmart, um, and it's just a rectangular tablecloth. I wanted to do all pretty, like, lacy, tea party vibed, um, but they are little girls, and they get excited, and I'm sure there will be spills and all sorts of stuff, so I thought this was just a safer option, um, and I just, I love it. I think it's so cute. So I picked up this, and then I picked up these plates, um, also from Walmart for 97 cents. They're just red with cute little hearts all around, and then I picked up um this set of napkins also from walmart for $1.98 and then i picked up these from target in the dollar section they're little like plastic um flutes champagne flutes but they're in the shape of hearts i don't know if you can see that they're very cute they're this like light red um and these are perfect because we'll just put like you know sparkling cider or something in them um to have like a little, a little cheers moment with their besties and then I also picked up these little paper danglies from um, Walmart they're just we're gonna hang them from our little chandelier they're just cute little heart little heart guys gonna dangle and then I did pick up this backdrop um, that says hashtag gals um, and it's just this really adorable little like backdrop that they can take pictures in front of and just like you know do the whole do the whole vibe of everything for $5.98 um, from Walmart so that's the that's the gist of everything. It's not going to be super crazy and chaotic. It'll just be a fun little day. We're going to have little macarons, which um, my oldest has been desperately requesting. We're going to do chocolate dipped strawberries. We're going to have little sandwiches. It's just going to be a really fun, relaxing, like, time to hang out with your little besties. And we're going to make friendship bracelets. And that is their tea party. So now we are going to dive into their actual Valentine's. Oh, also, this little cardigan is from Target. And I am obsessed with it. It is so so soft and comfortable and cozy it keeps me warm but I'm not overheating I love it it's making me just so happy um, anyway sorry I just if any of you guys asked I got it from Target um, speaking of Target this year I also picked up a couple more of their little Valentine's bins like I said I already have a couple of the little heart shaped ones but I saw these at Target and I just they're so cute they were in the dollar spot they're these little scalloped ones they're translucent and they have like little glitter in them and I just thought they were so cute and they're perfect obviously for Valentine's Day but these are perfect for their rooms to help organize because we need a little bit more in the organization department. Um, and these were only $3. So I picked up three. They're pretty nice and thick plastic. I don't feel like they're gonna break or crack very easily. So I thought they were worth it. I did pick up three, one for each girl. And I do think I'm gonna put my mom's stuff in them, maybe, I don't know. Um, and I also picked up cute little, like little pennant flags. I just thought these were so cute. They were only a dollar. Um, again, in the dollar section from Target and it says, love you more, XOXO. And I just thought sticking out of their little Valentine's little bins, like how cute is that? Oh, I love it. I love a good pennant flag. So I got each of them, one of those that we can just reuse every year. And then the only really bit of candy I got, because we still have so much from like Christmas, and I feel like we're all just like treated out, um, but you can never not have a box of chocolates for Valentine's Day. I feel like it is a must. So I got them each a small little Russell Stover box of chocolates, one for Eleanor, one for Ollie. All right, we are gonna dive in with my youngest. If you've never seen my channel before, my young my youngest daughter is named Eleanor and she will be seven next month, which is insane to me. Um, but I wanna do a quick disclaimer as I have to on most of my videos, even though it doesn't really change much of anything. But let me just say that this is the stuff that we feel comfortable giving our daughters. For some of you, it may be complete overkill and way too much. For some of you, it may not be enough or you may not like the type of items we give them or the books that we give them or whatever the case may be. And that's totally okay. Your opinions are valid and they're your opinions. But at the end of the day, we are their parents. We think they're awesome and amazing and we think that they deserve everything that they get and we love them so much. And so we like to show that to them. Now we try to be intentional with how we gift all times of the year, but I feel like during Christmas, our bets and the gloves are off and I feel like we just kind of go wild and crazy. Um, so throughout the rest of the year, we try to be a little bit more thematic, if, for lack of better words, um, and just kind of more intentional with how we give and in what needs that they need and things that they, we think that they would enjoy, which is what we did here. 
So like I said, we're gonna start with Eleanor. Um, every single year when I was a little girl, my mom would always gift me clothes for Valentine's Day, something to wear on Valentine's Day and something like, you know, like sweet or something that I would just, you know, wear throughout the year that I would really enjoy. And so I continued to do that. Um, the girls really needed a couple of clothing items because we never went winter clothes shopping this year. I don't know what happened. Time just flew and now it's almost spring. So they were pretty good. Everything, you know, held and tied over, but we were desperately in need of shoes and pants. So I did pick up Eleanor a couple of pairs of shoes. I bought these really cute little sparkly flats um, from Walmart from Wonder Nation. These were only $8.98. We have these really pretty glittery silver ones and then these really pretty like holographic pink ones. They have little bows on the back. We have these in like a um, patent leather black color and they've held up really well they're really nice and squishy on the inside with memory foam um and i like the bottoms although they're not as like you know cute and dainty because you can see the rubber coming up they do end up lasting a little bit better um and so i know that when they're running around on the playground or wherever they wear these two they'll get use out of them and you know i won't be too worried about them like falling apart or not holding up with their play so i got her two pairs of these Okay, and then like I said, I bought them a couple of clothing items, nothing too crazy, um, but just a couple of things to help tie them over till spring. I got this really cute little like two-piece cardigan style set um, for Eleanor, although I think looking at it now, I may need to downsize to an extra small. I got it in a small. She's very, very long arms and long legs, and so things just continue to shrink on her, um, like her little ankles and her wrists. But anyway, um, I got this from Walmart from Wonder Nation. This was $9.98 and it was just this really cute little like smiley faced sleeved cardigan and then in the inside it says love and happiness. Um, they had a bunch of different colors and different designs but Eleanor, if you've been watching me for a while, is obsessed with smiley faces. So I picked up this one for her and then I also picked up this pair of pants also from Wonder Nation. Um, I don't remember how much they were but they weren't very much money and they're just these really pretty um, pastel checkeredy heart colored pants. I just thought they were fun. They look very much like her. And then I also got this shirt. Um, this is like little strawberries. It's a sweet life on it and it's a little cold shoulder shirt um, This really pretty kind of like neon-y highlighter green color that I think will look so good against her skin tone It ties at the little waist. It says sweet life. I just thought this was cute and fun for her and then um, like I said She desperately needs pants so I did pick her up this set of purple cargo pants. She has this exact same pair in um, a hot pink that she loves. They're very comfortable, but they're already a little too short. <laughs> she still wears them, but they're turning into capris. So I got her this. I'm hoping that they're not too big on the waist, but they look to be okay, but they'll be nice and long for her legs. So there's really pretty lilac color. And then I picked up this adorable shirt. I just thought this was so cute um it is like tulle all around it it just makes me think of like a happy little birthday cake or you know what it kind of makes me think of like um carrie bradshaw from sex and the city not that i'm trying to make my daughter look like carrie bradshaw but just like that fun just like happy vibe do you know what i'm saying i don't know i just thought this was so cute so i got it to go with these pants and then i also picked her up this adorable little vest it is the exact same material as this which is just so soft and like buttery um and cozy without being like overly warm and she loves check as much as her mama and so um i just picked this up for her it looks huge i'm gonna have to take it back and get a smaller size but i feel like i'm having such a hard time they're in this like really awkward stage with clothing sizes they are very very tiny petite little kids but eleanor is very long and so that is her downfall. And then Eleanor or Ollie is growing a little bit in height, but she's so tiny. So nothing like fits her. It's always so big on her. So we're working through things, but I love that. I think all of those are gonna look so cute on her. All right, if you've been watching my videos for a while, you know that I give my kids something either educational or pretty much books, <laughs> book related every single gift giving holiday. I am a huge, huge reader, and I really, really try to encourage my girls to develop a love for reading, um, and just that adventure and that escapism, I think it can be really, really healthy, especially um, in a world like ours, and so I, I love to encourage their love for reading. Now, Eleanor 
is not the biggest lover of reading. She is the best reader in her class. She is, can read at a much higher grade level than, you know, or a uh, much higher reading level than her grade, um, but she doesn't enjoy doing it. I think she really enjoyed it in the beginning when she realized she could read and what that meant, but now she's like, eh. So I really try to encourage her and uh, find new books. And so the, one of the first books that I found was this one, it's called Don't Trust Cats, Life Lessons from Chip the Dog. Um, this is by Dev, uh, Dev Petty and Mike Bolt. I found this at Walmart. And I thought this was the cutest gosh darn thing. It's the same from, uh, it's from the authors of Don't Eat Bees, Life Lessons from Chip, Chip the Dog. So it looks like it's going to be a series. And if you don't already know, Eleanor is obsessed with dogs. She's a dog gal. She's a puppy lover. That is her animal. That's her vibe. She loves our dogs, spends all of her time with them. Olive is obsessed with cats. I don't think I've ever met someone who's as obsessed with cats as she is. Her lifelong dream is to move to London, to live in a flat, and be a cat lady with like 20 cats. I kid you not. So I just thought this was so funny and um, I already showed Olive and she like thought it was really hilarious but it was like how offensive. <laughs> anyway, so it is so adorable that I was reading a little bit of it in the store and like laughing when people were passing by me and looking at me really strangely. But it's so cute. The illustrations are adorable. I love it. I think they both will get a good kick out of it. So I got this one just, you know, a good old fashioned picture book but um, that we can all read together and she can read by herself. But then I also tried to find books that are more intended for her solar reading. I did pick up the Taylor Swift Little Golden Book Biography. I've been wanting this little guy for a number of months now, um, but I finally just picked it up because Eleanor is having her seventh birthday party next month and it is gonna be Taylor Swift themed. Taylor Swift themed so we are all incredibly excited about it and I figured this would be perfect to have out for display um, but also because I've been wanting it and the illustrations are stunning it's just you know a biography about her life um, but in a child-friendly format I just think it is beautiful and so cute and I love it like I'm really excited to read it <laughs> So I picked this one up for her, but then I also picked up these. Now, if you've watched any of my past like gift guide videos, you will know that Eleanor is obsessed with Mo Willems. She loves Piggy and Elephant. That is her favorite um, book series. She will read that series over and over and over and over and over again. That's all she wants to read. But I'm, again, I'm trying to encourage her to kind of branch out, see that there's so many more books out there and there's nothing wrong with Mo Willems. I love his books. I love his characters. They're so cute and they're well loved for a good reason, but they aren't the highest reading level. Like she is far surpassed that, but she does not want to move on. So I went on a hunt and I Googled and researched different book series that were um, for a lover of Mo Willems. And I found a number of them. The the first series is the Narwhal series, Narwhal and Jelly series. Um, I got the first three different books, uh, Narwhal, Unicorn of the Sea, Super Narwhal and Jelly Jolt, and then Narwhal, Peanut Butter and Jelly. So um, these are actually kind of like a graphic novel, but they have very similar illustration vibe to uh, piggy and elephant so I think she'll automatically kind of like see that and be interested the characters look really cute um, it's not as you know crazy high level reading but there is a definite more substance here and a lot more sentences it's made more like a graphic novel slash comic than it is just you know one page character with a speech bubble so again nothing wrong at all with Mo Willems but I'm just trying to encourage her to read a bit more um, so I found these three that actually came in a set and I can't remember if I got it off at Target or Amazon, um, but it also came with a poster. So I think she's really gonna like them. Um, I think they're really cute and they definitely give me Mo Willem vibes. But another series that was suggested was Pizza and Taco. So I got her the first two books of that, Pizza and Taco, Who's the Best, and Pizza and Taco, Best Party Ever. And basically this is a series about two best friends, which is a slice of pizza and a taco. And I just thought that was so cute. Again, it's very similar in the kind of like graphic novel vibe, um, comic strip vibe. 
and but again a little bit more speech bubbles a little bit more sentences for her to read she can fully read this she is an incredible reader and speller um but she just doesn't like to so i'm trying to find just different avenues to increase her desire to read so i picked up both of those and then um the last kind of bookish item i thought this was gonna be i just i saw this and i thought like how sweet this was and how um, memorable this could be. I found this little journal and it says love dad and me a father and daughter keepsake journal So it's essentially kind of like a back and forth journal. So um, Dad will fill out a page and then daughter will fill out a page and they can just trade it back and forth There are pages that they do together called we write so they work on it together and there are other pages that are like dear dad and or dad writes and um this one says, Dear Dad, I have a question for you. So Eleanor can think of whatever questions she's wanted to ask him, and he can write it out with a date. They have all different ones, I mean tons and tons on Amazon. Um, this one says, You and me, we love these jokes. They both love jokes. I thought this was such a cute little page. I just thought this would be such a sweet way for them to um, spend some time together and create memories and something that we can keep and look back on. Um, and again, subconsciously work on her spelling and reading and writing but also I just thought this was so gosh darn sweet so I picked up this one for her and then another thing that I always do for Valentine's Day and for Easter literally every holiday is hair accessories my girls love hair accessories they love jewelry they love that stuff and it is perfect to gift them for Valentine's Day so I found this really adorable little smiley face clip again Eleanor loves her smiley faces. And then I also picked up this set of smiley face little earrings, which she is going to love. Um, she loves novelty jewelry. <laughs> like anything that's like kitschy and cute, it's her vibe. So these sparkly little smiley faces I thought were adorable. And then go with the clip. I found this set of like Lucky Charms earrings. That one I thought obviously super cute for St. Patrick's Day, but also, just they're so cute and i think that she just would really love them she loves lucky charms but they're just adorable like look how cute those are oh my gosh i love these i also thought these would be really cute for like teachers in your life for those of you who um like my girls teachers love like the teacher style earrings like just like the big fun dangly earrings and so i thought these would be so cute i'm gonna buy a couple more pairs for them for um, St. Patrick's Day in March so I can gift them them because I just thought they were so cute. So I got her a pair of those and then I got her some more hair accessories. Um, Ollie got a pair of like little hair rings that are like little mushrooms and they were so cute and Eleanor really liked them. So I found another pack that were similar and they're just a bunch of like little hair rings and charms um, and these were like little gummy bears. They have gummy bears and they had ones that have in here that also has like little stars and butterflies and hearts and little pink pearls and again both of my girls i'm sure would love wearing this but i think these would be really cute um wrapped up in her hair and then i got her a pack of these butterfly clips i bought these forever ago and i can't figure out where i put them so i had to repurchase them like i bought them a couple years ago and i still haven't found the original ones so i repurchased them because i just think they're so pretty they have this like really pretty iridescence to them um they're tiny little alligator clips and we really love doing like braids and stuff all over like you know kind of not intricate because i'm not very good at it but just you know kind of doing a little bit more fun hairstyles throughout the um year and i just love having just like little clips all over their little hair and I just thought these were perfect size for that um, and they're so pretty so I repurchased those and again both girls will surely appreciate them and I hadn't realized I'd already purchased <laughs> a pack of checkerboard clips but that just tells you I have a problem with checks so I had already purchased a whole pack of these for Eleanor but now she will have more with the other ones that I bought for um, the rest of the girls for Valentine's Day. But again, super gosh darn cute. It'll be so cute with her little vest and I love it. I did buy her another pack of stickers. Not that they need it. These are um, like Y2K 2000 style stickers though. They're so cute. Um, they have like disco balls and hearts and there's like little cell phone little stickers and like 
whatever like the vibe that we used to love when well at least myself as a millennial and they're so adorable so i did buy a pack of those okay now we are going to move on to the more kind of fun things the more not that anything of anything before was a necessity but there those more are like useful um items and these are more for fun so i picked up this um little care bears eyeshadow palette that she has been asking for for months and months and months and it's this really really cute um like look it's so fuzzy and just adorable i would have loved I mean, I would love this now, but this would have been my vibe when I was a little kid. Um, and it's just this adorable Care Bears themed eyeshadow palette. It has this really pretty kind of pastel shimmery color story. Um, she has a bunch of different eyeshadows, but she doesn't have anything that's like pastel and um, rainbow like this. So I feel like this is definitely adding to her collection. Now, let me just quickly put a disclaimer. When I gifted my girls any sort of makeup items for Christmas, there were a lot of people who were very, very upset about it. And I just want to clarify that, again, it is our choice to gift our girls eyeshadow. Um, we are not giving them anything for correction. We're not giving them concealer or foundation. We're not giving them mascara. We're not giving them anything like that. It's literally glitter and lip gloss it's just for fun it's for them to express themselves and create with and have fun like what kid doesn't love to just like dabble in makeup it feels like arts and crafts so that's what they have it for it is not for them to you know put a full face of makeup on and go out the door to school i'm not trying to make them grow up faster i'm not trying to make it look like toddlers and tiaras there were some wild comments it is just for fun then, um, this is another thing that she had been really wanting. This is this little Care Bear, like, little clutch thing. Um, we gifted a family friend a big Care Bears, like, little collection because she's obsessed and Eleanor has been dying. So, I picked her up this little cute Care, Care Bear clutch. Um, she can put her eyeshadow in it or whatever. I know that she will just enjoy this and get use out of it. Um, they love to just switch out their bags and accessorize for the day so I know she will really enjoy that um, and then last but not least Valentine's Day would not be complete without some sort of stuffy to love on and my fav my girls favorites are Beanie Boos forever and always um, and the Beanie Balls this we've gotten them a Beanie Boo I think just about every holiday um, for the past number of years now they love them these are their most played with toys and they love having the ones that are like the mom and the dad. This uh, this is Sheldon. They both are named Sheldon. This is the Beanie Boos and the Beanie Balls. She's been wanting these two for a long time. I buy all of them on the Thai website. It's the cheapest I can find and I always get free shipping. Um, and you have like the most variety on there. And so I picked up both of these for her and I know she'll be really excited. Oh, last but not least, I did also get this for them. They both love playing Adopt Me on Roblox. Um, and in the Target dollar section, they had these really cute little puzzle erasers. And so it's a little dog and she puts them together. And she can use them as an eraser or for whatever. I don't know, but they were only a dollar and I know she will love them. She loves Adopt Me. All right, so that was Eleanor's. We are gonna jump into Ollie's. And Ollie is my oldest. She is now nine. Um, and she loves everything pink and girly and ballet and all of that vibe. And you are gonna see a very common theme. If you've never watched my videos before, you'll see a theme. <laughs> so for her shoes, I got her these really, really pretty pair of like pink, like blush ballet pink, um, colored flats with all of these beautiful little rhinestones that are iridescent on them. These were from Target from Cat and Jack and I saw them and just thought they were absolutely stunning. I think that she is going to love them. They give me Eras Tour vibes. I just, ugh, I thought they were so cute. I want a pair of them. Um, I got her those and then I also picked her up this little pair which I think she will adore as well and it's this really pretty like denim fabric um, shoe with these really pure, uh, pretty white and yellow embroidered flowers on them and this adorable pearl ankle strap. Ugh, I just thought these are like just scream like spring and summer to me. They just make me happy and I know that she is going to love them. For her clothes, I bought her two of these long sleeve little ribbed shirts. Um, I probably should have bought them in short sleeve but 
it is what it is. I bought this really pretty baby pink color and it's ribbed and has this little bow up top and then this really pretty um, like lace up just around the top. Again, it's just, it's just like ballet and sweet and girly and um, just that little extra touch. That's what she loves. They're just the bows and the lace and a little extra to add to a basic. And then I got it in white as well. She loves to put these underneath dresses, to wear them with skirts. She loves the basics and then like loves to accessorize on top of that. I also picked her up these two shirts. It actually came in a pack of three with Eleanor's shirt that was strawberries. Um, this was a little cherry shirt and I do believe that it's supposed to be cropped. Um, it's this really pretty like baby yellow color. Baby yellow? That sounds weird. Like a butter yellow, a sunshine, I don't know. It's a soft yellow <laughs> with a, um, I don't normally see three cherries, but three cherries apparently. And then it's ruched on the side and kind of tied. Um, and then this little polo that is ribbed um, and has lettuce trim sleeves and bottom and it has little strawberries all over it. Um, like I said, these came in a pack from Walmart from Wonder Nation. And then I picked up this really pretty purple mesh um, top that is like see-through completely on the sleeves but then the actual like bodice section is opaque um, it's super super soft and silky I'm obsessed with mesh tops right now like I can't get enough um, and I was so excited to see this because I just think it's so pretty and it's perfect for this time of year where it's getting a little bit warmer outside but it's not warm enough to go completely like short sleeves yet um, and I just thought it was springy and pretty and very ollie. And then the last item I got for her for clothing, I think she is going to just love. I saw this and just thought this was the most beautiful, like, princess style dress for her. Um, it has this beautiful little lace detailing around the neckline with that adorable little bow. And it's just this long pink maxi dress with beautiful like little roses or peonies or I couldn't tell you I'm terrible about flowers, but it's stunning. And I know that she will love this. This will be something she can wear with a little cardigan with a little t-shirt underneath it um, on its own. I just, uh, I think it is so pretty. I was really worried that it was gonna be too big, but I do think that the bodice um, will fit her well, hoping, fingers crossed but uh, I think she is going to adore that dress. I can't wait to gift it to her. Okay, moving on to the hair accessories. Um, like I said, she's super into ballet right now, so I picked her up this really pretty, like kind of like a bluish gray um, bow with a little ballerina embroidered on it, and then this white one that's kind of like a crepey style fabric, and then it has um, pink ballet slippers or point shoes. And then this adorable <laughs> uh, claw clip that is like kind of pearlescent and, it, pearlescent and it has rhinestones all over it with little bows on the side. I also picked her up a set of two of these pearl alligator clips. I want a pair of these. I may have to borrow some of these sometimes because these are so cute and so pretty. Um, I just love them, but they're nice and sturdy. They're pretty heavy though, so I'm worried about them kind of like falling out and pulling down by the weight, but we'll see. Anyway, they're really, really adorable. They're just really pretty pearl bow alligator clips. Like I did for Eleanor and got kind of those small little butterflies to place all around, I got a pack of little um, white kind of satin bows that are on little mini alligator clips to kind of place all around her hair or in very specific spots that she would like. Um, I just thought these were so cute. They did come in a bunch of different colors, but I liked the white because we do a lot of pink. <laughs> I also got a pack of these little like snap clips. I can never remember what these like actual style clips are called, but um, it comes with this pink satin bow and then this really pretty kind of pearled chain that ends with a little star. And I just thought these were so cute. Oh, I loved them. So it came in a pack of two. Well, I just lost it. Nope, here it is. It came in a pack of two. Again, if you can't tell the theme, it's like baby pink and white and pearls and a little bit of blue here and there, but that is the vibe of Ollie. And then this really adorable necklace to kind of go with that. 
um, it has these really pretty pearlescent style beads with all um, or iridescent style beads and then kind of pearls up here um, and it ends with this baby pink satin bow with a little silver heart dangling at the bottom I love this I thought this was so cute and then I got her a pack of cat necklaces <laughs> But they came completely jumbled and tangled, so I'll have to take them apart. But they're just a bunch of little mini hearts um, that are little cats. And I know she will love these. They're so gosh darn cute. Um, but they're just a bunch of, there's like four in here. And it's completely a jang, uh, jumbled, tangled mess. And then I got her a pair of these bow earrings that are baby pink. And they dangle by these little hearts on, this, uh, on the top thought those were really cute and I think that's all for accessories and then last but not least is I picked her up this little bag um, for Eleanor she got that Care Bears bag which was excellent quality however this little bag is not the best quality it is very cute it is like a corduroy material um, with a bunch of little white kitties on it and bows very ollie but it is can you hear that it's like like that kind of very thin fabric um it feels really strong but i just don't know i don't know uh, i wouldn't recommend it it's really cute but i wouldn't recommend it it looked very different online like it just looked like it was gonna be a nice thick kind of corduroy bags because i have bags that look just like this that are nice and thick and sturdy so i'm a little disappointed but it's okay i think she'll still really like it and she'll get use out of it but um i'm a little sad um for her stickers I got her a set of ballet stickers and um surprise surprise they are completely like her colors and vibes so little tutus little kind of like coquette kind of vibed you know her usual she'll love them <laughs> they're very cute I also I meant to show you these um with Eleanor but at Hobby Lobby the other day I found these little charms and I just thought they were so cute and I thought they would be such a fun thing for us to do to make earrings together um or there's so many on here that we could definitely use these for necklaces and bracelets and stuff but um or even keychains but I've been having so much fun making friendship bracelets with the girls and the other day we made keychains and so it's just been really fun to start like creating and crafting um, with each other and so I found these set of cat charms from Hobby Lobby um, that I got for Ollie and then for Eleanor I got the set of little lightning bolts and then I also picked up two different um, packs of little earring like hooks and so we had like little tweezers um, and pliers that we can use to be able to create our little earrings. So I just thought these were so cute and fun and it would be fun to be able to kind of do this together. And I don't know, I just thought of something new for us to try. All right, oh, for Ollie, I got her one of those Adopt Me um, erasers, but hers is, surprise, surprise, a cat. So again, a dollar from Target. Moving on to the book section. So um, Ollie is definitely, someone who really loves reading now, but just like Eleanor, wasn't the biggest fan. Um, but I did a lot of digging and we kind of found a genre of books that she really likes and now she loves reading. So um, this is one that of the series that we found that she loves and really got her into kind of the graphic novel world. And this is the series, this is the, from the Click series. This is the fifth novel in the Click series, Crunch. There's also another one after this, I think it's called Break. Um, which hopefully the Easter Bunny will bring her. But she really, really loves the series. She checked it out on a whim at the library once, and that was like all there was to it. And she's reread them multiple times from our own public library as well as her school library. She loves them. Um, it is about a little girl named Olive. And so it's a bunch of just different, you know, experiences she goes through. And there's one about going off to camp. There's one about joining a play. There's one about like the school yearbook. There's one about, you know, um, making friends and frenemies and all that stuff, just dealing with different conflicts and stuff that happen when you're a little kid and a tween. Um, and I just think they're really cute. I love, again, illustrations. 
she loves 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 the series so this is the fifth one and then in that same world they have oh not that one in that same world they have the besties series and this one is besties find their groove she hasn't started this series yet but she just realized that they were a part of this world so she was interested in it um the reason that i was really excited about this is that um one of the main characters is indian american which is so nice because it's honestly pretty hard to find um, a lot of Indian American representation in movies and media and especially like for children's uh, media and books and stuff and so I just love that they have her in it and it just this whole this particular book just talks about um, loving yourself and the skin that you're in and celebrating diversity and differences and I love it so um, I just think it's really really cute so I got her this one and I hopefully she likes the series just as much I also found this one and it's called making friends um, this was a new series that I randomly stumbled upon this is from Scholastics and I just thought it sounded really cute again it's another graphic novel those are her fave um, and this is about a girl named Danny, and she is leaving sixth grade um, and moving on to middle school and she's really really nervous about it she doesn't she's having a hard time making friends she's feeling really lonely and isolated but then she finds a magical sketchbook and whatever she draws and writes in that comes to life so she decides to draw a best friend um, and this is kind of all of the chaos and drama and fun and adventures that happen from that. Um, I do believe again like this is a full series. This is just the start of it. It's a nice and big nice and big book so um, I do think this will take her a little bit to get through but she will like crank these out in no time. Um, so I'm excited. I think this is so cute. I had no idea about the series. I love the elements of magic in it. I love that it, it deals with like a magical sketchbook like how fun she loves drawings you guys know so i thought that element was so cute so love those um i did pick her up a chapter book she is not as into chapter books as she is into graphic novels but this year her class has been reading the judy moody series and she's really enjoyed it and so she's been checking out chapter books from that series on her own um and so i found this little magic kitten series um from amazon things for like a couple of dollars it was really inexpensive um, and i have been wanting to get her this series for a while but she hasn't been super into chapter books so it is a huge series there's tons and tons of them and they all just follow um each individual kitten who has magical powers and abilities this one is about a little girl who goes and visits her like aunt or grandma during the summertime and stumbles upon this little kitten who's looking for a home um and it's by sue bentley it's just adorable um, it's not super, the chapters aren't super long, the font's pretty big, I feel like it'll be an easy book for her to read and hopefully she gets into it and we can continue along the series. Just like Eleanor, I wanted to get her a journal as well, but this one is mother and daughter journal, whereas the other one is father and daughter journal. So a way for each of us, Jazz and I, to be able to have like our special time with the girls. And then once we finish these journals, we can kind of flip flop and I can do one with Eleanor and he can do one with Ollie. Um, I just thought this was such a sweet Valentine um, idea and obviously can do for all year round, but I don't know, there's something that I thought that was really sweet about doing it for Valentine's Day. Um, this one, I feel like like is definitely geared maybe not quite for older kids like I feel like it's perfect for her age but I do think Eleanor probably could have done this too but there's a little bit more of different like activities in here like there's like a like relax and color this page any way you like um, and they have just different doodles sections which you know Ollie loves her doodles um, they have more in-depth questions um, and you can kind of bounce around the book I did get little like I mean I have little tabbies that we can just put in for like okay this is where the page I picked today and you know um, we can flip right to it and stuff so I just I just thought these were so cute um, and such a fun way to kind of like grow and um, bond with the girls and so I don't know I love these this little idea so I got her that all right I think this is it guys we are on the last item hooray hooray um this is her little stuffies these are her little stuffies her little love bugs um I died these are so gosh darn cute um his name his name is Hambone oh 
I saw him and immediately added him to cart when I was looking at the Beanie Boos. Like I was like, one of them has to get the, him. But since he's just, he has a little curly tail. Oh my gosh, I think this is probably the favorite, my most favorite that I've purchased for the girls thus far. Like I cannot deny that little face. Um, and then I got a little friend, a little baby, little sibling, whatever you want to say. Um, and this little guy's name is Pigasso. And he also has a little curly tail, but he's kind of tie-dyed. So like Picasso, but Pigasso. Anyway, adorable, cute. I know that she will love them. I love them. Hambo. I can't. I do like to give my mom a little Valentine as well. And I found this at um, Walmart. There we go. It's a Pioneer Woman fragrance warmer. Um, it was on clearance for $15. It was originally $21.88. And she loves these things. Um, and it is her, I think it's either her, I think it's a Basset Hound, but it makes us think of, or makes me think of our beagle that passed away this past summer. Um, we had to put her to sleep after almost 15 years. Um, and so I just, this made me think of her. Her name was Lulu and she was a sweet, sweet beagle. Um, and so we wanted, I just, I don't know. I thought this was so sweet that I wanted to kind of give this to her. And then I picked her up a bunch of the little fragrance cubes that she liked so much. Um, I found a bunch of different scents. These were all Better Homes and Gardens ones. This is Warm Spring Sunshine, um, White Tahitian Woods. This one smells, oh my gosh, so good. And then Frosted Lemon Bars which also, all of these just smell incredible. So I picked up um, one, or you know, I picked up a couple for her. And then I also am getting her, I ordered it, but it hasn't come in yet, an Elvis shirt. My mom loves Elvis Presley. Um, she grew up with him and was just one of those diehard fans screaming her little head off. She loved Elvis. And so um, I found the shirt and I just like, knew I had to get it for her so um she also will be getting a cute little Elvis tea not the most like valentine themed thing in the world but I think it's still fun and I just like to be able to um show her that I love her and give her some fun little goodies she still gives us valentines every single year and so it's fun to be able to do that for her as well all right that is it thank you so much for watching I feel like this video was a long one but hopefully you still enjoyed I'm so sorry this is coming to you so late but if you're watching this in the year's future you now have fresh new ideas um, and I still a lot of these things are very easily accessible to get before Valentine's Day anyway um, but if all else fails these are just good ideas to base off of I feel like again if you have little tween girls teen girls women in your life, hair accessories, claw clips, scrunchies, you know, some ballet flats, cute little cozy cardigans, um, books. Those are all such really easy and like pretty much attainable or um, accessible ideas, I feel like, um, to get. And I mean, I would love so much of these things. This is the vibe that I would like. I have loved seeing like the the like trends of like the boyfriends and the husbands like getting like the boo buckets for their um, partners or like filling their stockings and doing all those things. It's been so much fun to see. And so I feel like these would totally work for that as well. Like so many of these options um, would be perfect for that. So obviously, you know, maybe not, I mean, who's to say or judge like, this is a cute freaking series. But, you know, if you have a reader that you love, finding their type of books um, or asking them what they're into or, you know, I feel like these are all good base ideas. I'm gonna stop jibber jabbering. So I'm gonna go. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. It is almost springtime and I just can't wait. I am over the cold weather and the dreary days. And I know it's just starting for me and here, but boy, golly, gosh darn, I am just, I need sunshine. So I am just filling myself with happy, positive colors and floral things and spring items and clothing to pretend that it's actually spring. All right, that is it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I feel like it was a long one. I was a little bit rambly, um, but I hope you enjoyed it and got a lot of different good ideas. Like I say in every gift guide, I will try to have everything linked for you below. There are some times where these things, there's no longer links or that they're sold out. 
um, and I can't link them for you or sometimes the links don't work but I will try my best um, and have everything linked for you below um, and uh, yeah keep a lookout for my next videos I have some fun fashion content coming your way I have more vlogs coming your way I have lots of different fun things on the horizon I can't wait to share with you and soon it will be Eleanor's gift guide for her seventh birthday and like I said she's having a Taylor Swift party and so I thought it would be fun to kind of film that and all the different ideas that I've come up with that um, I have so many cute things that I cannot wait to do and gather and get together and so I thought it would be fun to share that video with you guys as well so keep a lookout keep your eyes peeled and thank you guys so much for watching I will see you guys in my next one bye guys